Hey guys, it's Neil from the School Busters, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new update and what an update it is. Um, 1.17 uh, that's landed today. Um, so let's go and take you through the patch notes and show you what's been added to the game. Uh, so let's get straight into this uh, new update. Um, it says the main features implemented are first off is three new cars. Um, we've got the Ford Roadster, um, the Suzuki V6, Scudio, Pikes Peak Special. Yes! Um, them two cars are only available from the legendary dealership, um, which is tomorrow, meaning the 24th uh, of June. Um, you not you can't get them today, but you will be able to get them tomorrow. Uh, you can get the Escudio today, uh, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, the other car is the Suzuki Vision Gran Turismo. So if you come to Brand Central, head over to Suzuki, and uh, you will see in the showroom the new Vision car. Um, it's just under half a mil, um, so I bought that straight away. Uh, just to show you guys the new car um, So yeah, this is available to buy the other two not until tomorrow to so get you back to the patch notes uh, Next up is a new track a new track has been added uh, The Wat Watkins Glen International Racetrack has been added um, In two different layouts, so it's just the long and a short uh, courses that have been added um, so next up is World Circuits, um, Circuit Experience has been added to Watkins Glen, um, I've done a video on that, I've already done it, so that will be up on the channel very shortly, uh, to be, make sure to check that out. Um, the following new events have also been added, so if you head over to the new track, you will see three new events. Um, the first one being the uh, FR Challenge 550, Clubman 700 and then the World Touring Car 800. Now I'm a bit surprised at the payout on the uh, you know the credits for that one. Um, I'd expect it a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe they might tweak it in the future, but who knows. I did have a go at this race. Um, what I've done is I picked the Toyota Hypercar, um, like you do for Sardegna uh, and Spa. Um, it's the one I prefer, I prefer to use. Um, you can use others, uh, you've got the Mazda 787B uh, if you want to choose that one but also you've got plenty of other cars there to have a go at but I preferred this one, um, I found it was super easy, you didn't have to pit um, the cars in the, the race they pitted about two or three times anyway so you was able to lap them um, it took me around about 17, just over, just over 17 minutes uh, to complete um, and that was my first go. I'm not familiar with this track, so I reckon I could get that down a lot more um, So we'll see if we can try and get some money grinds out of it Let's see if we can try and get a car to work with it uh, So getting back to the uh, patch notes. So next up it says about scapes obviously with the Watkins Glen International location that's been added um, they've, they've added basically new scapes um, into that as well um, so I'll just quickly show you that. So basically they've just added a few decent pictures of the circuit. Um, I had a quick go, quick play around and there's just a couple. Uh, just took two really. There's the new um, Suzuki. Um, so yeah, I just had a quick go of that. Nothing major. Um, so next up is the cafe. Added 41 sets of new conversations with the characters appearing in the cafe. Uh, these new conversations can be accessed by changing cars in the garage and speaking with the character that is in the cafe. Uh, new extra menus, now these are the important ones that have been introduced. These menus provide opportunities to complete new car collections and are accessible after a certain connect collector level uh, has, that has been reached. In the update 1.17, the following three extra menus have been added. So basically, if you're over the collector level of 17, you'll get access to these extra menus. So I was missing three cars uh, that I didn't have in my collection, so I went ahead and bought them. Um, and what all you do is get roulette tickets, basically. Um, I think it's just another quick way of giving out free roulette tickets. So you get a four, 
a six and an engine swap. So let's go ahead and open these four star. Surely a car invitation. What we're gonna do? Let's, oh, yeah, yeah, no. Man, I thought I was gonna get these invitation then. 30k. Okay, maybe you might get something better than what I did. Um, so next up, let's go ahead and open the engine one. So you're going to get an engine swap, regardless. So this is all engine swaps, which is new and which is good. Come on, what we're we going to get? What we're we going to get? Engine swap for which car? Let's see. Oh, Porsche 911 Carrera RS. Uh, do we have that car? If not, I'll buy it. Don't matter. Okay, six stars roulette ticket. I think everyone will get all these today. Uh, so if you log in and get these, you everyone will get these. Oh, cars. One, oh, do not pie me off for of 30k again. Oh, oh. Nice. I know I've not. I was looking at buying this car, so yeah, okay, I'll save me credits. That's good. I'm happy with that. Free car. 30k and an engine swap not bad let's hope uh, you guys get something better than what I do um, let us know what you get um, but yeah I'm happy with this because I've, I've always looking at buying this anyway so I think it's like for a million pound so it's good I've got it for free so yeah you'll get free um, roulette tickets if you complete them extra menus basically um, so moving on um, to auto GT auto sorry uh, the following new uh, paint colors have been added so it's just for the Ford Roadster um, it's in black uh, Suzuki Scudio you can get it in red uh, Suzuki uh, Vision Gran Turismo you can get it in blue or black so next up is auctions uh, the horn command has now been assigned to a button in the controller configuration menu horn is not available for car races and certain other cars so if you press the start button and then go to options then you want to do is move over to controllers and then obviously if you're using controller like I am um, an old school um, you can assign the horn now mine was on the flash you can basically flash the lights so I swap that for the horn so I'll let you hear that and also they've changed uh, the 360 viewing of the car now we can do that which looks absolutely amazing so we've got horn and 360 view of the car which I'm super happy about it looks miles better why didn't we have that in the beginning so next up is multiplayer now I can tell you there's been a lot of improvements online so let's get into that uh, race events can now be changed after the room has been created in a lobby the variable time speed rate value in time slash water settings can now be changed from uh, 10 times to 30 times. Um, next up is race. Added a refueling speed option in race settings in lobby and custom races. Added a load ghost option um, to the ghost settings menu from quick menu to settings. The correct road wetness will now be automatically applied if custom weather is selected from time weather options in lobby. Fixed an issue wherein the rewards at the end of the race would not match the adjusted values following a change in the events settings in race settings from the quick menu. Change the number of laps set from each course in arcade single race uh, when in offline mode. So next up is uh, sport. Added gold, silver and bronze target timed rewards to online time trial. It is now possible to obtain those rewards by re-entering sport after an online time trial ranking registration period has ended. Now let's take you straight to that because this is really good what they've done here. Um, it's a massive uh, improvement straight away. So as I said before you can get hold of the Escudio today. Uh, so if you go online there's a time trial make sure you click on that um, rent um, the specified car which is the studio and then you'll be able to play it um, so you just, as you can see straight away they've added gold silver 
and bronze to the layouts um, just overall the look of it and feel of it it looks a lot better um, and basically just doing time lapse um, so this one I'm showing you how to uh, load up the existing ghost so what I've done is I backed out so that you lose your ghost and then I went back in picked my time and then you'll see um, so there I'm silver and as you can see if I still end up in silver um, I'll get a million credits by the uh, end of that uh, time of the uh, online uh, time trial uh, so I'll probably go back at, uh, back at that and try and improve my time so you can get into the gold section it's good that they've added more um, credits into that um, you know which they should alter the credits and the paying system uh, online it will be a lot better if they did that so let's get back on to the uh, patch notes so it says the following game stats are now displayed at the top of the screen in sport so it mentions races victories number of top five finishes number of golds um, number of silvers number of bronze um, medals received basically i think all oh, this is a really good improvement in my eyes um, also it says the uh, my page section the following items have been added to the profile in my page the number of top five finishes and it's the same for the gold silver and bronze um, it also says that it's fixed a calculation method for the following stats under the sport category in profile and my page pole positions races victories um, so then it just moves on saying that the physics simulation model adjusted the speed for a certain hybrid cars when they ran out of fuel um, fixed an issue uh, with the sound for the 4 GT LM race car spec 2 engine sound and then it moves on to GT Auto fixed an issue wherein the delivery data error would occur when transferring liveries from GT Sport with the following cars Toyota 86 GT, Toyota 86 GRMN, Honda Civic Type R. So finally it moves on to others and it says various other issues have been addressed. Doesn't say what. So one final thing uh, before I go is if you come to the legendary car dealership and if you're after the three legendary cars, uh, the Jaguar is now available to buy. So I'm just giving you a heads up on that one. So. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.